Hey everybody, this is Natural Resources for September 9th. I'm uh, Mr. Sheridan and I hope you're all having a great day. We're going to run through and do a quick uh, instructional video on what I'm asking from you today. So this is our uh, Google Classroom, just like always. Our Zoom link is in our stream. Um, in our classwork section, every single day I need you to go in and do your daily attendance and your daily check-in. So if you haven't done those yet today, please get those done for every single one of your classes. Then for most of this week, uh, this is probably going to be the only assignment that is listed in week four because it's what we're going to work on all week. Now, what you'll notice is that this looks a little bit different than yesterday. For those of you who weren't here or haven't gone in and watched the instructional video from yesterday, this is the project that we are going to work on for our safety unit. So we're going to do it in a couple of different steps. The first thing that we need to do is, and it's actually called step number one here, is I want you to pick one of these professions. Um, you decide what, uh, what makes the most sense for you, what you think is the most interesting, what you would like to be a part of. And then I want you to answer these questions about them. Okay, so what we're going to do eventually is that we're going to create a health and safety plan for one of these uh, people if you decide to do this for a living. So that you would be, actually have a health and safety plan that's ready to go, that, uh, that you could train some folks, you could show them what they need to do, what hazards they need to be looking out for, what PPE they need to wear, and that sort of thing. So step number one is I want you to research. You might want to pick a couple of these and just kind of answer some of these initial questions. You don't have to turn those questions in, but these are designed to get you on the right track as far as what types of things we should be looking for uh, safety-wise in these careers. So this, this part, step number one, should be done by today. If you haven't finished this up, go through and make sure that you answer all these questions for step number one. Tomorrow, we are going to start actually putting together our health and safety plan. And today I've got some resources for you that are going to help you kind of get an idea of what we're going to look at there. So uh, if I go back to my classroom, so what I've posted here are links to different websites that will um, that do a really nice job of, um, uh, of kind of laying out what a health and safety plan looks like for a lot of these things. If you're interested in doing some timber, whether that would be, and a lot of this stuff would apply to a sugar bush operator, or obviously a, a, a timber farmer would work here too, um, because there's a lot of really good stuff on logging, and they have some really nice already put together safety plans on logging. Uh, so this is also another really good thing that was uh, that's actually a PDF in here. So um, that does a really nice job of step by step laying out what we should be looking for if we can get past all the references and stuff. But this, these documents are really, really long, but there's some really good stuff in here about um, your, uh, your health and sa your safety and health management. So who's responsible for what, uh, what resources need to go where, and then you're actually talking about the conditions and your safety requirements for different uh, requirements for different tools and that sort of thing. So if you've got people that are working with, um, you know, chainsaws and that sort of stuff, they're going to have all kinds of uh, the actual safety requirements for each one of those individual tools. So I'd encourage you to go in and look at that. The other thing for a lot of these other uh, um, tasks, this is the website that I would encourage you to, to take a look at. The National Ag Safety Database uh, does a really nice job of not only documenting some cases of people who were hurt or injured or um, uh, got themselves in trouble because of something that they were doing that was unsafe, but it also does a really nice job of listing all of these different um, uh, parts of agriculture that will that could be hazardous. So in each one of these things, so if we go, if uh, was there was one about uh, horticulture and horticulture and landscape management, and if you want to use any of these. Um, if you want to use any of these as your actual um, assignment, if you want to use this as your, uh, th instead of the five or six that I listed there, that's totally fine. So if we look at green handling and storage, um, so there's a whole bunch of uh, different press releases in here that talk about uh, places where people got hurt. There is also a, um, uh, some uh, documents about avoiding risk when working and handling equipment. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of things in here, okay? There's been 
dozens and dozens and dozens of people that have been hurt or killed in grain accidents. That uh, so this would be a, a really nice way to so in if you're doing some row crop stuff and you don't have a section in there about grain bins, then you're you need to okay you so that's something that we need to think about if you're interested in doing uh, row crop safety um, at all because it's something you have to do. So that's just an example of a couple of things of where you can and actually Michigan State University put this together, so that's cool. Um, so those are a couple examples of things that uh, different ideas for you to actually go in and um, and take a look at. So go through those links, uh, find some new resources, find some things that you find interesting, and uh, and and look at them from a safety angle on some of the careers that you are interested in in the future. So if you have any questions, as always, please 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 feel free to email me, and I will see you all tomorrow.